Let's go off script now with Emily Heil, who is a writer and columnist with The Washington Post. ABC making quick work of Roseanne here, Emily. Yeah, just hours after this tweet storm ended, um, the network announced that her show had been canceled. It had been renewed for a second season. Uh, it was to air in the fall of 2018, and that is not happening. Not after this tweet storm um, in which uh, Barr took aim at a number of targets, um, spread some false conspiracy theories, um, called George Soros, the Democratic donor, a Nazi, um, likened Valerie Jarrett to uh, a character from Plain Planet of the Apes. It was just, it was just untenable for ABC um, to keep the show going. And this is something that we've we've started to see a pattern with 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 media and controversies that have come up within media is that they don't mess around by saying, hey, we're going to do an internal investigation. They make quick work because people are hopping on the bandwagon going against the network and against the show so quickly. It's like they have to act that fast or else they're going to suffer the consequences. Absolutely. And there was uh, talk right away on social media. Um, I'm not sure how far along these efforts got, but they were they were certainly headed that way uh, toward boycotting um, uh, some of the the advertisers on the show. This was a show that that uh, you know drew big advertisers. We're talking about a major network sitcom, a family friendly show in prime time. So those kind of advertisers are not just going to sit and, and, and kind of put up with this. Roseanne Barr did issue an apology before um, the network canceled the show, but it just wasn't going to be enough. Um, and it looked sort of inevitable from the moment this this tweet storm started. Roseanne Barr has a, a longstanding history of making controversial and false statements. She on Twitter, she has in the past, um, you know, given a platform to, uh, you know, false conspiracy theories. Um, and so, you know, it wasn't like she, she could say this was sort of an aberration. It, it wasn't. It was it was much farther than maybe than she had gone in the past. Um, but it was something that, that she couldn't just say, oh, my gosh, I had this momentary lapse. This will never happen again. Uh, it, that was just not believable. So that do wouldn't we, have been believable. Do we suspect that this is something that ABC and its management team may have been bracing for all along, knowing that they, they might have to pull the trigger on something like this? Her Twitter habits had, I think, been um, been the subject of a lot of anxiety at the network before. Um, I think in an interview last week, uh, the actress Sarah Gilbert, who plays daughter Darlene, she's also a producer of the show, had said in, in an interview that uh, that Roseanne Barr's family, her her her. TV kids, as she called them, and her real kids, her real life kids, um, tried to keep her off Twitter, knowing that these controversial um, and false statements that she makes on Twitter um, could jeopardize um, not just the show, but her career. You know, we were talking about a, an enterprise where there, there's just a lot at stake. Yeah. And so that kind of Twitter habit, um, you know, could could go south very quickly, could make things go south very quickly, like we saw today. Yeah, it's just so amazing how somebody can sit in the comfort of their own home, on their couch, in their bed, and fire off a tweet that can affect not only their career, but the careers of uh, many other people. Emily Heil with The Washington Post, as always, we appreciate your time. Happy to be here.